let's look at reflections. And we've already talked about the properties of reflections, but this is just the physical doing now. So we can look at a reflection on a grid. Now, that's probably the easiest way to deal with reflections uh, when you have a vertical or horizontal line of reflection. And the reason it's easy is because everything's already perpendicular. And so you can just count distances one away. So m prime would be also one away. Uh, u is two away, so u prime would be two away. O is O prime one away, and n is two away. So n prime would also be two away. This allows to very quick and simple reflections. And again, I, I'm under the belief that you and I do reflections much easier than rotations because we're built in a reflection manner. Our body is quite uh, has line symmetry to it, or near line symmetry to it. And so you and I are fairly good, I think, at uh, the reflections. And just to give you a little bit of the old patty paper flavor, which I really uh, enjoy, I'm going to just do a quick check using patty paper. I don't use a lot of patty paper for reflections, but I do for rotations. But that's okay. I, I think uh, I just want to demonstrate to people that are not very familiar with patty paper to show you just how great it is. I'm going to mark out uh, my line of reflection here so I know that when I pick up the paper where Put it back down. So up my patty paper comes, flip it over, and bam, on its back right where we like it. Orientation is reversed. Distances uh, uh, O to O prime, N to N prime, and so on are all different. Those are properties of a reflection. The second one is to inform us that rotations are not a one-way direction. They go both ways. The, all points on this side reflect this way, and all points on the upper side reflect down. So Q goes up, J goes down, and P goes down. And then again we just connect them. These ones are a little bit more tricky uh, for students just because we have points on both sides. But again I think you're going to do just fine. One way to test if things went right other than patty paper you can turn it on its side and you can test to see if that's a line of symmetry, which it is. Now this guy is here because classic error. Uh, students make errors on this one and they're not sure how to handle it when it's a 45 degree there, are uh, not vertical or horizontal. A couple options. You can turn it this way and make it work this way. Can you see now that S would go to S prime? that uh, R would go to R prime here and T would go to T prime here. What I'm doing there is just using the idea that, that uh, the line of reflection is a perpendicular bisector. If you didn't like that technique, you can of course use patty paper and make it work as well. So you could put down your patty paper and reflect it over. Another thing that I actually do, uh, more than that first technique, I just count out uh, to the line. So I go down and I'm one away, and so I'm going to go one away to get to S. If I'm going to T, I go down two to get to the line, and I'm going to go uh, 90 degrees over uh, to find T prime and so on. But you can see that we've done it correctly because, one, all points, t to t prime, r to r prime, s to s prime, all those motions are parallel. They're all perpendicular to the line of reflection. Beautiful work. That is a reflection. The second component is to kind of look at what goes on on a grid uh, when we reflect. And so we're going to just reflect over a couple of different locations. This says reflect over the x-axis A. So the x-axis is down here. So A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A prime is here at negative 2 and negative 5. This says reflect over the y-axis, the point B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's B prime at negative 5 and 7 still. 
This says reflect it over line M, the point C. Here's C. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's at 9 and negative 4. So just practicing looking at reflecting on a coordinate system. And then here comes uh, some of my favorite uh, questions here. So this says reflect A over M. Now, I'm going to turn it a little bit so I can see it. So let's see what uh, if we can see it. A over M reflects A onto C. So it would map to C. When I reflect A over line M, it goes to C. Where does C go if it goes over N? So let's take a look. Where would C go? Ah, C is here. Line N, it would map to G. All right, it goes to G. This says reflect over R, the point D. Let's find that. Here's D reflecting over R. Here's R. So it would reflect across to B. Now that is the classic error. Let me go back to that one. A lot of students say, oh, okay, it would reflect to H. No, it wouldn't. If this is your line of reflection, R, D would map over to B. And then the last one, O, gives us the image and wants the pre-image. So it landed on B, but it reflected over P. So it landed at B, reflected over P, so it must have been F to reflect over to land there. Good luck. Reflections are a lot of fun.